SMA reader, Crow Song, and today I will be reading to you from Take Two by Nereo Wright. Now, on to Chapter 21, Scheduled Meeting. These are some of the clients willing to sponsor you to act in their commercial. Say hello, America's manager urged him with her elbow. America was spaced out a bit, but snapped back into it with the small action. Hello, I'm America. It's a pleasure to meet you. He greeted with a smile. Although his face seemed sincere, he really wasn't. While having the meeting with the commercial sponsors, his manager did the talking, and he just used his phone secretly under the desk. Let's meet up again soon, when I have free time. Are you working on something right now? America was texting Russia, and always found it oddly relaxing when texting him, compared to the others. Soon a reply came, without much waiting. Okay, and not at the moment. A smile appeared on the American's face, without him realizing it. Russia was such a stuffy texter with such dry replies, but it always makes him feel so special and happy. How can someone so stiff make him so happy? Lately, they've been texting each other more often, with daily good mornings and good nights. Well, it was mostly America, though. Russia always replies with, you too. The sponsors knew that America wasn't paying attention to what they were saying, but they didn't care. As long as he acted for the commercial, then it would be fine. Are you perhaps texting Japan? A sponsor dared to ask, trying to get closer to the number one star. Seeing how happy his expression was, everyone could put two and two together to figure out that the person he's texting must be special to him. America's face was a bit bewildered, but he didn't allow his expression to be seen through. The sponsor continued with an explanation. Well, you see, there are articles clicking around the internet because you were seen with Japan at the mall the other day. Oh, I just happened to meet them there, that's all. The sponsors didn't look like they were buying it. They kept giving him suggestive looks, which really annoyed him. He really wished he could just slap them, but of course, that would be rude. So he just rolled his eyes and said with a clearly pissed tone, We're friends. Don't stick your noses into other people's business. The sponsors were wary. Of course, they wanted to retort, but they were worried that it might make America decline the offer. So they kept their mouths shut. America often updated his social medias when something happened. A lot of people bombarded him with notifications about the articles. Obviously, he had already read a few of them. What annoyed him the most was that the articles never mentioned he was also with Russia, and not only those two girls. When the meeting was over, his manager and him took their leave and got into the car. She started nagging him as soon as they did. Didn't I tell you specifically not to go to the mall with anyone? Now look at all these articles about you and Japan circling around. I really did just happen to meet them, though. Yeah, right. Even if you did, the media wouldn't be so nice as to include that in their articles. She narrowed her eyes. America stared out the window with his chin propped up on his palm. America pressed his lips into a thin line and felt irritated. I'm really not involved with Japan other than being friends. I... He paused for a second. A specific tall figure with a stiff and cold personality and a handsome face appeared in his head. I... I think I'm already interested in someone else. The car abruptly halted to a stop. 
America was almost sent flying. His manager turned to look at him in the face. Be careful who you like and what you do, she warned him with a low tone. Yeah, yeah, I know. I won't do anything rash. She started the car again. Don't mention this to anyone either. Poor girl would be bombarded with your diehard fans. America almost laughed out loud when he heard his manager say, Poor girl, but managed to hold it in. He smiled. Don't worry, I won't. The scenery was a blur amidst the road. They were on the way to America's photo shoot. When they got there, the entire team liked to just stare at America sometimes. Well, he was quite used to the stares, so he didn't mind. After the photo shoot, he got a text message from someone. It was the second star. Hey, America, there's this small area in town with the greatest scenery and food. It's pretty remote as well, so we wouldn't have to wear masks. Do you want to join me there after your business today? I also have stuff I need to talk to you about. Let me know if you're interested. America read the message a few times more. His first thought was, Maybe I can bring Russia here next time if the place is as nice as she says. Sure. How does five today sound? She replied a second later. Sounds good. See you there. After the incident last time, he promised his manager he would tell her whenever he wanted to go out. So he walked up to her as she was speaking to one of the staff. Hey, uh, a friend invited me to go eat at five. Do you think I can go? It's a pretty remote place, so there's not much people. He tried to convince her. She thought about it for a few seconds. Sure, just don't stay out later than nine. We have a movie shoot tomorrow, and you better be on time. America's face beamed with happiness. Okay! And that's the end of this chapter. I hope you really enjoyed it, because I did. Anyway, that being said, I would like to invite you to join us on the Discord, which is linked down in the description below. That being said, I hope you have a nice day, night, or whatever it is for you. Just enjoy your time. And I will see you tomorrow.